Hey y'all, it's the Southern Snackers. I'm Bucky. And I'm Brandon, and I'm so excited about today's video, y'all. First of all, a little preface. We know it's been a while since we posted a video on this channel. Yeah. But we have been over on Southern Daddies posting every day. We have been on day. Southern Daddies. Life's crazy. We have a baby now. Anyway. He's asleep, and that's why mm -hmm. we're also kind of not yeah, talking kind of quiet. too loud. Um, so, I wanted to come on here and try something because I'm so excited to finally have found this. Um for purchase in North Carolina because I've been watching it for a while now. Um, and yeah, it's it's a wine by one of my favorite people in the world. Um, Is she really one of your favorite well, people? Well, she I don't used know. to I be. I think you should take that back. Okay, she used to be. you're gonna get canceled. She used to be, but this season got a little crazy. Anyway. As you can see, this is Rena Wine. This is by Lisa Rena, um, who, if you don't know, is a, an actress in a reality TV show. She's one of the Real Houses of Beverly Hills. But I Days of Our Lives. Well, I was going to explain that. Okay, sorry. But I have known Lisa. Known Lisa <laughs> He's, I've known we've who, been to her house. I will say, well, that's a whole different story. But I have known who Lisa Rena is for a while because I grew up watching the stories, as we call them, with my mom and grandma. And she was on Days of Our Lives. She played Billy Reed. <laughs> so that's how I was first introduced to Lisa Rinna. But before that, she was like on Melrose Place. She's been like a ton of Lifetime movies, a lot of like reality shows. Anyway. I mean, you probably know who she is. Yeah, you probably know who she is. Harry like Hamlin, Lisa big lips, Rinna. Like iconic hair. Botched lips. She she's, literally she's has. She's like famous for having botched lips. Yeah, but she literally has like a haircut named after her. The Lisa Rinna. Like people will go and be like, I'm with Lisa Rinna. Anyway. I don't think anybody actually does that, but. I think they used to. Okay. Well, anyways, anyway, so, so she came out with a rosé yes. and a regular brute champagne. Um, they did not have the rosé, is what Bucky's been telling me. And like, it has this little thing on here. It has a picture of Lisa Rinna, and it says, "Oh yeah, let's you should read it." Lisa Rinna is an American actress, author, and television personality. Mm -hmm. Her new wine brand, the product of unfiltered fun and spontaneity, Neity, features two delect. <laughs> Jesus, God. <laughs> I, should, I should have read this. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't big be words, too loud. Big words. Okay. Spontaneity features two delicately... <laughs> delicately effervescent, easy to drink, and truly refreshing wines. Okay. I should have proofread it before because I know those words. Maybe you I, should it's just have. A little bit of sounding out live on camera is a little hard. Um, it's getting hot in here. You just put a hoodie from that. Do you oh. feel the heat? <laughs> Not really. Y'all, I've got some a bowl of soup on. <laughs> oh, tell them where we're at. We're at my well, grandma's open house. We're at my grandma's house. Um, we're up at my parents, like where I'm from for Christmas. Uh -oh. I don't know. Otto's waking up. There's squeals coming from the other room. And she is in a nursing facility right now, like rehabbing before she comes back home. And so we are staying at her house because. It's just we have a lot more space here. Um, but her house is a very old house and it's cold. And, and it's like just in the very old school. In the single digits outside. It is, y'all. And it's windy here. And her house, where her house is, is weird because it's like one of the windiest spots like around. In Yadkin County, it's, it's I heard. Very weird. I heard in Yadkin County. This it is, is like kind of weird. Spot it is Yadkin always very County. windy. It's on the news or something. Oh, Shut up. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Oh my God. I'm nervous this is going to wake Otto up. Oh, God. Yeah, but it's going to scare him. <gasps> Just do it. God. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. Well, because I was putting a lot of pressure on it because I didn't want All to right. make a lot of noise. Let's watch, let's Are you excited? Let's see us pour. Ready? No, we got oh, it's smoking. Got our fancy wine glasses. Oh, you're pouring a big pour. Okay, it's bubbly. What's the other pour? Mmm. <laughs> well, you didn't pour that one as slowly. Okay. Let's smell it first. I smell it. Wow. I was telling him we should have got like wow. orange juice. Because are we? Have, nobody's really, we don't likes really drink champagne. champagne. Some people do though. Some people love champagne. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. All right. First, first okay, taste. I, <laughs> because I have something to say. But I said cheers, and you said cheers, and you pulled your cup I don't know, away let me from say me. Say what I need to say first. Okay. Cheers to the first taste of Lisa Rinna wine. 
No. Cheers to the first taste of Rena wine. By Lisa Rena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, it tastes how you would expect it to taste. It's actually good. It's a little bit smoother than it like is. It's well, it's it's Andre. not cheap. It's like twenty five dollars a bottle. It, so that means that it's it's smooth. It's not like a harsh champagne taste. Like it's actually really good. Yeah. Is it Andre that really cheap champagne mm -hmm. that everybody mixes stuff with? Or like Cooks. Or if you go to like um, like a mimosa bar yeah. or, or something. Or like, like if that. somebody has unlimited mimosas, you know they're serving Andre. Okay, that's actually pretty it's actually smooth. pretty good. It's a really good like champagne. And it's not that bubbly. Like it's bubbly, mm -hmm. but it's, I like it because it's a little flat. It is a little flat. Com like compared to other champagnes. Also, I think it's kind of funny because I feel mm -hmm. like the picture that Lisa Rinna used on here. It's, it's like old. an older picture. It 100% is. Or just very, very photoshopped. No, that's that's older. It's like, come on. That's Lisa Rinna circa like to 2010, probably. Yeah. But y'all, she looks good for her age. I don't know how old she is exactly, but she's got to be pushing 60. You don't think she's over 60? Is she not? Yes. Sometimes when people she's have a lot of work than... done. I don't think she's 60. It, it, or she might be 60. But she's not over 60. Well, I'm filming on my phone, so I can't Google it. I can Google it. I'm, no, I'm oh, I don't have my phone for some reason. Well, I'm ready for another pour. This is actually, I am pleasantly surprised. I know we should. It have has some a little. Juice. We could have a Moses tomorrow morning. It has a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. But like, mm. not oh, very bubbly. Maybe we've just always had cheap champagne. We probably so we have. don't. This know. honestly reminds me more of a prosecco. A thousand percent. She's fifty-nine. She'll be sixty-one. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yay, Brandon. I knew she couldn't be 60 already. Because that would have been like a thing on the show. She was born in 63. Paul was born in 62. I mean, I guess she is coming back this year. That's what I've heard. How many we'll children see. does she have? Two. She has two. Delilah, Delilah. and Delilah. Who? Hey? Delilah. Those are her kids' and names. Amelia Delilah. and Delilah. Amelia, yeah. Amelia. Amelia Gray and Delilah Bell. And she has Stalker. Him, him, okay. How many sisters does she have? Her None. Brother. She's an only child. And her mom just died. And she has one sister, Nancy Rinna. Oh. It's her sibling. Wow. She must not be close to her. Um, anyway, I so, will say what? before you tell this story, and we're, we'll cut this short. We know we've been rambling, and we just want to get on here and hang out with y'all for a little bit. But don't do what Brandon is about to say we did. I know. Don't be those people. That we were because. Is that bowling? We you just shouldn't do what we did, but whatever. Go ahead, we did it. So, so we, we're gonna tell you about it. We're in LA earlier this year, and we did a little drive by of the housewives' houses because we were curious. And not to be like creepy, just no, to like just to literally, literally go house, by, not all. take pictures. I didn't. Yeah, like, we, did. we, we were, didn't. We didn't take, take anything. No. Anyway, so we drove. I found Lisa Rinna's address, <laughs> and we drove. Like down this little street, y'all, and then basically it's like two house, houses, and then Lisa Rinna's house, and like you really can't. It's hard to Those turn were around. Those like apartments. Back. No, they were like apartments or something. I don't think they were apartments. There was tons of garages. Was that one house? That was like multiple. Yes, that was houses. They were connected. They were like a town. Like remember? Well, maybe they were townhomes or something. Yeah, maybe. Because it was multiple. And and there, were, there were a few homes in the Lisa Rinna's. It house. was a small road that cars were parked on the side. Yes. And there was a basketball goal mm -hmm. in there. And it's just like, there was no way And out. then there was just like a gate on the right side of the road, which went to Lisa Rinna's house. And you could like see her house through the woods a little bit. But she has like, if you've ever watched the show, she has like a really big backyard and she has like a really pretty view of like the Hollywood Hills. Um, so her house is like literally on the side of a mountain essentially. But it's cool because they have a house and then they have this yard. Like a lot of houses in LA, if you've ever drove around the neighborhoods there, like... They don't really have yards. Like, they're literally on a mountain or, like, on a, on a huge hill. Yeah. And so... Well, they're also... The cool. houses in L.A. are deceiving of, like... Because even, like, looking at, like, Dorit's or, like, James Charles's house. Yeah. Like, and then they have, like, a Colleen. huge... <laughs> Colleen, Colleen literally moved because people were driving by her house. Well, we drove by her house and saw her husband out in the driveway. But we did not say anything. We did not no, take any pictures. we just saw him. We were very respectful. Because James Charles and Colleen lived literally, like... Close like to each other. You could walk. Mm, I don't know about you walking. You could walk. Uh, yes. I don't know about walking. But anyways, anyways, don't do it. 
And if you just no, if don't you be do, creepy like us. If you do it, don't be literally, creepy though. Just just drive by. Yeah. Don't take a picture. If because what we do it for is we look for houses for sale. True. Y'all know I'm in real estate, so when every city that we go to, we literally look up houses for sale and drive by them, and that's yeah. just something we do. So. Obviously, and Dorit's house happened to be for sale, <laughs> and that that kind of started the the yeah. trend, and that's what happened. And her house is like surprisingly just like in a neighborhood, which I if you follow the housewives, then you know that. Well, like I mean, like I think a lot of people would assume that like the housewives would live in like a gated community or something, right? Um, well, hers but also got broken. I know that's room. what I'm saying. It's like kind of oddly uh, accessible, I would say. Lisa Rinna's yeah. house was not accessible. Well, I think <laughs> TV just makes things like more seem different. Yeah, than what they really are. Yeah, and you would not imagine watching the show that Dorit's house is just sort of in the middle of this like normal neighborhood. And like seeing all of them go up to her gate and yeah. like go and pick like yeah, because there's like normal like ranch style homes in her neighborhood. Like yeah. it's not like a, like an I mean I'm sure they're million dollar homes. Oh but yeah, but they're still sure. like they're small LA. ranch. But they're like fifteen hundred square feet ranch homes. Right. Like they're nothing crazy. Yeah. And then hers is just kind of like wow. Yeah. Um, but her house is identical, or her old house now was identical to James Charles's house. So Very we drove by his so, house, yeah. and they're they're literally identical. Yeah. Um, anyway, all that to say, congrats, Lisa. Rennie, you made some good wine. You made some good wine. Champagne or champagne. Um, we love it. It tastes like prosecco, even though I, it's brute. But that's fine. We love it. And I bought two bottles, so we'll probably open up the other one on New Year's Eve this year. So oh, I can't wait good. to open it in New Year's. Yeah, that'll be fun. So it was. I think it was actually twenty four or twenty five dollars. For the bottle. I think you told me twenty five ninety nine um, at Food Lion. But I think I watched the video back and it said twenty four something. Oh, okay. Wow. So yeah. either so, way. So yeah, so strangely enough, the only place that had them near us was Food Lion. Food Lion, which is a local grocery store for those of you who weren't from the South. And it's not like an um, upscale grocery store. Mm -mm. It's not like but no. it is if you if Basic. you go to Food Lion they have a reserved wine section and that's and where that's this was. Them. Um, so it's like a highbrow wine, if you will. I mean, I wouldn't spend twenty four. I w I won't buy this again unless it's like for a birthday or like for a somebody special that special occasion. Yeah. Because I can just, I think the ten dollar prosecco is yeah just as good. Exactly. You know, I can just I can drink that instead. Yeah. Um, but it's like a if you're a fan or if you just want to support her, you yeah, know, it's good. You're you're not gonna spend that money and get crap. You can like buy some of this and sip on it for the. Premiere of the next season of Beverly Hills Flops. Well, it's going to be, be a, a while. Celebration. It's going to be a while. Because they're on a hiatus. Because things got crazy this season. Anyway, so thank y'all for watching this video. Congrats to Lisa Rena and Rena Wines. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Remember, we are posting videos daily, at least right now, on over Southern on our Daddies. other channel, Southern Daddies, where you'll see a lot of us with our baby. But anyway, uh, thank y'all for watching. And remember... When life gets tough... Just keep on snacking. And drinking. Bye, y'all. Bye. Okie dokie. This is actually like... I don't... Yeah. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm actually very surprised. I at how much I like with this. With how they talk bad about it. Who talked bad about it? On the show. Didn't they talk bad about it? But that was... I think that was also not the final product. Remember they did Yeah, they like were the, testing it. Yeah. I love it. I think it's really good. I bet the rosé's good. I bet the rosé's even better than this. Anyway. Okay.